Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of Google Drive folder sharing settings. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. So first of all, let's create a new Google Drive folder. We're going to start with a folder from scratch here. We're not uploading a folder from a computer. We're going to create a brand new folder. And I'm going to call this one, I don't know, Folder of Lesson Plans for Geography Awareness Week, which is coming up pretty soon. I'm going to create my folder. So now I have my folder here, and obviously it's empty. So I can drag things into this from my desktop, or I can go ahead and create a new item altogether. And let's say I want to create a new document. And I'll just write up my lesson plan here. Let's rename that, and we'll just call it lesson plan number one for geo awareness. And we'll just fill it in with some information. So there's my lesson plan, <laughs> as it were. And we'll see it's now in this folder. Now, if I want to share this folder with my colleagues, I can do so. And I'm going to go to that drop down menu right at the top there. And I'm going to share it. And I can share it with Mason. And so now I can share it with Mason and I can set an expiration date. This is really handy. I can go into this editor mode and add an expiration date and say, all right, his, ex his access ends on December 7th at midnight or you know, December 1st at midnight. And, and so now I can go ahead and share that with him and he'll have access to everything in this folder. In fact, if we go back in and look at the document itself, we'll see that it's now showing as a shared document. You can see we have those two little people in the icon and it indicates shared with one person. So it's really important to remember is that when you share a folder, anything in that folder is accessible to that person or person people that you have invited to look at the folder. Now you can override that if you want to by going back in and saying, no, I don't want to share this one anymore. But by default, everything in here is going to be shared. Now let's go back to my drive dashboard. And let's say I have something that's already written and I want to put it in the folder, like my questions of the week for November 1st. Well, let's just click on it once and we're going to drag it into that folder of lesson plans. And we're going to see this is going to change who has access to it. Let's go ahead and move it. And now we will see inside that folder we have both of those documents. And when I open it up, I'm going to see, again, who, is, who has access to it in that shared setting in the upper right corner. So that's a short overview of sharing settings in your Google Drive. As always, for more things like this, please visit freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.